Yeah, so I want to start just by doing like a bit of a description of what I was thinking. And mostly I'm kind of interested in what happens and interested in your experiences. So it's almost like a bit of an experiment into um yeah, how this how this meditation what effects this has. Um and yeah, I guess to give a bit of context, it's like last last week we did um, a meditation where we kind of stepped back into awareness and that was about sort of like opening up and creating space in our mind. And this is almost like the opposite approach. It's like if you turn that upside down, experience upside down, it's kind of like really becoming the content, the energy, like the stuff that we're made of and then almost like popping out of that just into the um the stuff that is everywhere and it's so yeah what we'll be going for and I'll guide the meditation after I've done the talk is almost like rather than a kind of like stepping back leaning back motion it's almost like a um yeah it's like a popping out and then it's like rather than being this body or like this sensation in the knee or this energy in the belly it's like when when you pop out it's like oh there's just all this sort of like diffuse energy that's kind of um around it's not um so much like it's not so specific it's not so mine it's got more of that like non-self quality to it um, and part of this is that, yeah, it's like rather than doing the meditation where we're like looking, 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 looking at experience and kind of using awareness like a spotlight or whatever, it's almost like reframing, reconceptualizing. So we're experiencing all of the body as an energy, including the mind. Um, and um yeah tuning into like the energy body and um that kind of like chanic energy aspect um and yeah it's it's interesting i think um just giving ourselves freedom to when i say energy just want to make sure that we're giving ourselves freedom for that to be whatever it is to feel like whatever it feels like so it's less about having a concept of it needing to be a certain jhanic energy or um like whatever ideas we have about energy and just letting ourselves go into the, the feel of it and um i think the way I like to sort of conceptualize this is that a lot of it's my experience that all the ways that people talk about energy so um jhanic energy chakras meridians kundalini energy it's like all of those things are experienceable and very present and um yeah like have value and, and truth in them um but when we're just experiencing in meditation it's more like just feeling what is there and allowing it to express and um it's almost like in the same way that we have in our physical body we have like veins and we have muscles and we have bones um we have organs it's like there's all these different aspects of our what kind of constitute us energetically and in meditation we're not thinking about like is this a bone or is this a muscle or is this skin it's like we're not in this meditation we're not getting hung up on like what is this energy it's more just like what's the felt quality of it what's the felt sort of subjective experience of it um and yeah that can 
it's obviously not an objective thing. It's very subjective. So um, that sense of what it feels like is very tied to um, the emotional, but also the imaginal. Um, so yeah, we've done work on this together, but it's that sense of like an energy, yeah, an energy can feel very kind of like fluid and calm and sort of soothing, or an energy can feel very like uh, wired and like buzzy and um, yeah, the difference is almost like that imaginal kind of sense of metaphor and um, imagination that yeah it's making sense of it in this abstract way it's almost like imagining with our full bodies or experiencing the abstract and the metaphor with our full bodies yes and then so part of the med the start of the meditation will go through like the body the heart and the mind and with that it's just like building the base for us to be able to be present and be able to be relaxed and open and um, that sort of state of relaxedness in the body, open acceptance in the heart um, and a kind of, yeah, like a um, feeling where our mind is included in that energetic sense. Um, there's not a sense of it being separated that builds like a good base a good foundation to then be able to connect in that more impersonal way where things can just sort of like come and go and shift and move more because there's we have more of a sense of a like easy trust in in where we are and, and how we're feeling and our bodies um which allows us that kind of like relaxing sensation that sort of popping out it's um yeah it's almost like as much as just a kind of like relaxing into and um yeah the more we can just like trust in our experience and our and the safety and of that the easier that becomes rather than like holding a bunch of tension and stuff that we're carrying in yeah, and it's so a few things that might happen when we do this if with the popping out and um you know, I don't I don't know, I'm kind of interested basically to hear what might happen. It's all a big experiment. There's definitely no way for it to be wrong or um there's not really a way to do it right. But I guess just to describe some things that might happen so you can kind of recognise them if they do, look out for them, that kind of thing. One is that when it pops out, it might create like a rush of energy. You might get a very strong energy because rather than being contracted into um, one part, it's like suddenly got freedom to just go a bit wild. So that might happen. Um, generally, it, it might feel more sort of like expansive and dispersed experience in general. So rather than kind of like being a... Um, a body in a place or being in a specific sen sensation it's almost more like being part of a weather system which includes just everything around and that having that like dispersed expansive feeling and yeah part of that might be a sort of sense of losing inside and outside upside downside um yeah it might be sort of quite like <laughs> not sure how to put that into words but kind of like um yeah just a, a, almost like a disorientation of, of space I suppose um and yeah one thing I think that's that's worth saying is so the, the kind of the purpose of this is almost it's like it works in tandem with the the more like awareness focused meditation so with that it's like by stepping back into awareness it like creates a load of space in experience 
And this is almost like, by kind of like becoming that energy, it's like that creates presence and aliveness that like fills up that space. Um, and yeah, but sometimes an interesting thing happens where, and I think this happened with a few people last time, it was like sometimes um, when when we did the awareness meditation, it was like creating the space and then the energy all came up because the energy had the space. And it can all, this can happen as well. It's almost like by becoming the energy, it's like that suddenly creates a load of space and you end up in that more just like open awareness. So yeah, the opposite, it can, by focusing on one, you can get the opposite sometimes as well. So that might happen also. Um, but yeah, so that's just some stuff, some conceptual stuff, I guess, to help, but um, don't need to worry about it. Um, yeah, it's just a case of seeing seeing what happens. Um, so unless there are any questions, then I will just go straight into guiding us. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how long it will be, but maybe, maybe 20 minutes or something like that. Um, and then we can come back and chat at the end. Cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's start just Take some time to find a nice posture, something that feels like relaxed and yeah I'd say relaxed is the main component, also kind of like upright as well if, if possible but mostly we just want to be yeah, like just present in the body and not putting, not exerting pressure on ourselves. And just taking a couple of nice slow breaths into the belly. And slow out breaths through the nose. And just giving our bodies a signal that we're safe. And taking a moment to check in with how your body feels, how you describe it at the moment. just knowing that it doesn't need to be any different so if it's carrying any stress or pain or anything like that that's fine that's very welcome here too just want to check in see see how it's doing see what's going on in it And then taking just a couple of breaths into the heart space. And almost feeling as if that air is bringing a bit of fresh air in.
and again just seeing how it's doing getting a sense if there's any emotions there or whether it feels open or constricted or connected, disconnected. Maybe doing a sigh if that feels helpful. <sighs> Letting out anything that wants to be let out. <sighs> And now feeling into the mind, getting a sense of how that's doing, how you describe your mind at the moment. And getting a sense of where the mind feels like it is. Is it in the head or more dispersed than that? and getting a sense of how you would describe the energy of the mind at the moment. And then just noticing if any thoughts are coming up Almost like feeling into what their energy is as well. So, do they feel like things, little bits of energy zipping about the brain? Do they feel like bubbles rising up through? a cloud or through water, do they feel like maybe a radio or something like sending out kind of like sound waves just like ba ba ba. What energy do the, when thoughts arise, what energy do they have? might have the energy of a noisy washing machine, if you can hear that. <laughs> Apologies if so. So now just feeling into that whole experience, say so body, heart and mind, just taking one last moment to just check in and get a sense of how you're doing overall, what the energy is. whether it feels fairly cohesive, 
or whether there's just lots of different stuff going on. Just making a bit of space for it. And now we just want to find something lower in the body, so um, yeah, I'd say below the heart, so your hands if they're lower, belly, anything in the legs. and find something that you can get a good felt sense of. And just really feeling it in and seeing if you can just cultivate that sensitivity of what it actually is like to be that thing. So rather than looking at it, almost just like really resting into the energy of it. And allowing, yeah, allowing the emotional to be part of that or the imaginal. Anything that kind of facilitates that sensitivity, that sense of really feeling into something, developing an intimacy with what it's like to be that thing in this moment. And then when you've got a sense of something, when you've got a sense of what it's like to be that thing and you're kind of feeling into it, almost a sense of, can you just pop out of that or it might be a feeling of just relaxing the boundaries around it it's almost as if it's like slow motion video of popping a water balloon with a pin. It's like
and there's no pressure or expectations that anything needs to happen. It's almost just an experiment of what. It's kind of like an experiment of what exists around. that bit of energy that you can feel. And when you open it to it, what happens in your experience? can just sit in silence for about five minutes now and if you get lost at any time you can just come back to finding anything, any energy below the heart to just like feel into, reconnect with it, get a sense of the felt sensations, the imaginal, cultivate that sensitivity, that intimacy with it and then from there just play with, yeah, sort of popping in and out of it and um, being curious about what it consists of and what's around it.
Nice. And just coming back into that sense of the body, the energy in the body. Just feeling into the whole body, how it feels now, how you would describe it. Taking a moment to take some breaths here. And then when you're ready, coming back around, opening the eyes. Having a stretch, because that feels good. <laughs> Becoming a being again, if you've been in the universal energies. <laughs> <laughs>